hi guys welcome back to make this project you're going to start off with a three and a half by six inch cardstock i have two different stamps that i'll be using today black ink pad and i'm also going to be using my misty pad I already did the placement of my stamps on my Misty, so now I'm going to add my cardstock to the upper left corner, ink my stamps, and then stamp my cards. If you're not familiar what a Misty pad is, it's a stamp placement. It helps you stamp your cardstock. So you'll see here that I'm inking my stamp and I press it down to my cardstock. And if I didn't give it a, a good press or didn't ink my stamp good enough, I can re-ink my stamp and press it again and it will stamp in the same exact place because everything is still, it hasn't been moved. The cardstock is still in the left upper corner and my stamps are still where I placed them. Once you're done stamping all of your images, of course you can color these in using color pencils, markers, alcohol markers, whatever you prefer to color. But I need something quick and easy, so today I will be using my gel press. The hardest part about using a jelly press is picking the right color combination. I will be using on this project yellow, red, and blue. When using the gel press, you'll also need a piece of scrap paper and a brayer. What I like about the gel press is you'll never know what your ending results are going to look like. So it's just trial and error. The trick of the gel press is just to take the ink pad and you can really use whatever inks. You can even use paints, but for this project, I need it to be quick and dry fast. So I'm using um, water-based ink pads from Stamping Up. So the yellow was the first color that I laid down and you'll notice that I took that color all the way from corner to corner. For the red and the blue, I'm only adding just one dab on the right-hand side because those colors are richer, they're darker. So after I lay down my colors, I'm going to take my brayer and then I'm going to start rolling the brayer from right to left. And the, the purpose here is just to kind of start blending the colors together. Now remember again here, the colors that I'm using are yellow, red, and blue. And then in a little bit, you'll see the ending results. You'll notice how the colors are starting to blend into each other. What you really want to do here is get rid of the lines that separate, you know, where one color ends and the other one begins. Now I'm going to place my cardstock on the gel press. This gel press measures, I think it's like eight and a half by 11. So I'm going to place two of my cards. And then I had some scrap piece of white paper left. So I'm going to place it at the edge here on the left and we can always turn this into a tag or a bookmark at a later time. You're then going to take your scrap piece of paper and press it on top of the gel press so you can, you know, press the paper into the gel just like I'm doing here. I'm sorry for the table shaking. I think I have to move my camera. Peel the scrap paper off and let's reveal the first piece. So there are your colors. And remember, we started off with yellow, red, and blue. And this is what the ending results are. Now I'm going to make two more. And I'm going to fast forward through this one. Now I'm going to place my scrap paper back on the gel press to lift any remaining paint that was left on it. Then taking the brayer with whatever paint was left on the brayer, I'm rolling it back onto the gel press. I then add two more tags. I add my scrap paper, press it in to get results. So these little tags I'm just going to save for a later time for another project. 
Now let's go ahead and continue making our gift card holder for our cards. In my stash, I found a lavender piece of paper that matched very closely to my ending results of my gel press. So I'm starting off with an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. On the eight and a half side, I'm going to trim my paper at six. I'm then going to turn my paper on the 11 inch side and cut at five and a half. Leaving it at the five and a half size, I'm going to score it at three and a half. The next tool is optional, but I'm going to create a little notch on the side of my card using a, I think it's a one and a quarter inch circle. I'm then going to create a pocket by adding glue to the bottom portion of my card on the fold and then on the left and on the right. Line things up by adding my cover card lining it up to the fold of my lavender cardstock and then press everything down. So now we've created a cover and the inside will have a pocket for you to add a gift card or cash. What inspired this size card are the envelopes that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree envelopes. These envelopes measure about six and a half by three, three quarter. My card measures six by three and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp these envelopes. So my cards, I had started off with two different stamp sets from two completely different stamp companies. The phrases of to my favorite teacher came from our daily bread stamp. And then the other, the, the teacher with the little stack books was the other stamp set that I used. And then when I went back to our daily bread stamp set, I noticed that there was um, an image of stacked books. So I decided to add that to the front of my envelope. And of course, after you stamp these images down, you can color them in. But I decided to keep these simple and plain because I was trying to mass produce and literally had no time to get these done. So I needed something fast and easy. And that's it. That completes this project. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for joining me. Bye.